Yeah. Senior, can I get you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Senior, uh, the fight just ended. It was in sensational fashion. Virgil Ortiz, Virgil Ortiz won. He beat Maurice Hooker. He stopped them. What'd you make of the fight? Uh, I think I thought Virgil did pretty good. Uh, there was a few things. He, he kind of waited a little bit on, on uh, some of the stuff that, uh, that we worked on, but I think that he kind of got comfortable on uh, being able to overpower him. So... Uh, other than that, I, I think he did pretty good. I mean, um, Virgil went to the body. Hooker knowingly knew Virgil was going to go to the body. Virgil kept going to the body, you know, willingly, no matter what. And um, he worked it from there. So, uh, you know, we usually, when we beat, uh, you know, when we try to fight somebody, we usually try to set a goal and to beat somebody a certain way. And uh, even if the guy is, you know, trying to tee off or something, you still got to stick to the plan. And uh, that's pretty much what we did. All right. Obviously, the game plan was after this proper. Do you insist that's still the game plan for you? The game plan is for anybody that has a belt that's willing to give him a shot. Uh, you know, usually when, when you call somebody out or something, and then, you know, they, it's usually it's not going to happen because I guess some, some of them get offended or not, you know, uh, like a lack of respect or something. But really, it, it, it doesn't matter who, who's... who's uh, who my son's next? Uh, he he'll he'll go with anybody, and, and not only will he give anybody anybody a, a, a fight, a fight, he he can beat anybody at any time, and he's just a young little boy. He's just a little boy. I mean, just wait till he starts getting. He don't even have his men's strength. He's only 22 years old. He's about to turn 23. Wait till he's 25, 26. Then what are you gonna do? Then they're definitely not gonna want to fight him. He's gonna be too strong for them. Uh, Earl Spence, we had a chance to talk to him briefly. He said to be me and. Um, Virgil fight, it'll be a great fight. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, they both come from the same gym. Um, there's history there. Um, you know, er Earl's, Earl's a good guy, and, uh, uh, you know, boxing is just business. Uh, um, but thank you, thank you, yeah, thank you very much. Um, boxing's a business, and, uh, you know, if if it opportunity comes, then why not? I mean, these are... These are the heavy hitters in boxing in, in, in Dallas. I mean, these are the heavy hitters. I mean, Earl and Virgil have the exact same style, but Earl is tough, Paul, Virgil's right-handed because they come from the same foundation. I mean, this, that's what it is. You, you just go back and look at it. They're not very flashy. They use the body, uh, the body jab, uh, the, the body attack, uh, good jab, very patient. Uh, you know, enough movement to what they need to, and, and uh, not all fancy and flashy and glitchy. And uh, it'll it'll be a good fight. From there, from right there, you you could kind of almost flip a coin who's gonna win because uh, you got a young kid who's willing to go, you know, with anybody and exchange it, and then you got a, a veteran who kind of knows the biggest punches, uh, who's strong, but maybe he's not as strong as his young kid. Because I think this one's stronger. And if it was a dream scenario for you, what would happen next? Um, really, um. I, I try not to do the whole dream thing. I, I just pretty much just go by what, what comes. I, I don't really like to try to call many people people out. When they tell me, would you like this fight? Yeah, I would, but would I look to call someone out or, or thing like that? I don't. I just let it come as it comes. And what'd you make of the stoppage? Virgil Ortiz thought, you know, he was just, it was already going to be done for. Just oh, he was done already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, he, he was done. He, he, he was going to finish him in the round. There, there was no way he was going to go past that seventh round. Uh, he, he was, uh, you know, there's, there's a method of how we were going about the, in the fight and, uh, and then start turning it on. And he, he just see, he just started turning it on more and more. And, and uh, his punches started once, Vir in Spanish it's called menos a mas. Virgil's menos a mas. Menos a mas is... As the fight starts getting longer, from little to more, he starts. He starts once he starts going downhill. You can't stop him. He starts picking it up. He starts hitting harder. He starts throwing more and more and more. It, it, it wasn't gonna last no more longer. He, he was done. And what'd you make of the outstanding support your son got here? I oh, mean, it was, I was crazy I, hearing the fans. It, it yeah. sounded like fifty thousand. It, it, it sounded like like uh, we weren't even in a pandemic. It was a no. lot of people here. You know, I was excited uh, uh, for the fans for. For them to see finally and, and uh, to recognize that they have a star in, 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 in their own backyard that they can be proud of. But, uh, you know, a lot of people can be proud of a, a, a kid like him, no matter where you're from. He, he's, a, he's a good kid. I mean, uh, we, we actually like Hooker. We actually like him a lot. Uh, uh, but this is business, and, and uh, that's all it is. Last question. What's your message to all those fans that came out to support you guys, Virgil Ortiz, the whole team? I just thank you guys for coming. Uh, uh, you know, I was happy that you guys came. Um, I'm glad you guys uh, got a good show. Virgil always puts a good show. Uh, and uh, just, just drive, drive safe, and uh, thank you guys very much. Thank you, Senior. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.